on YouTube. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I'm so shaky. Uh, okay. Take two. Hello, YouTube. It's Hassler Boy on the Fajuff channel. Here, reporting live. Well, not live. This is freaking YouTube. I'm sorry, there is a YouTube live. But that's off my topic. I do that a lot on this channel. This has been a weird moment brought to you by Hamster Boy. Moving on. So, yeah. Here is my Snap Circuit Rover from far away. Now, it's very hard to see, but this is the exact same rover you saw before. Although, if I zoom in, you'll notice I put a playing card over top of the photo sensor. Because this light, that, yeah, that light there, is bright enough to trip the rover when it's on. Though, if I turn the light off, you can't see squat. And this would not make a very good video. So, yeah. So, let, so like I said, I'll show you it in action because I only explained it before. This will not be an explanatory video. This will be just showing you how it, or what it does when it works. So, like I said, I turned the switch on. Hang on. Technical difficulties. I turned the switch on. Turn my remote control on. And here we go. Forward, back forward, back, and if, and then both of them, and then this is very hard to do, so this may be a bad angle, or sorry, it's hard to control it, but if you had two hands, I, you could control it very easily, but I can only do it like this, this one motor at a time. Okay, and so if I hit that trigger, the light comes on. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang. It's a little delayed on the camera, so bang, bang. Yeah, but here's the thing. Okay, the motors work. And here's the controller. The two joysticks control the two motors. The right trigger controls the light. Bang, 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 bang. But if I remove the playing card, or supposedly if the tank gets hit by light from a opposing light, bang, it gets hit, light hits the photo sensor, and the little red light comes on. Now I cannot shoot, okay? I cannot shoot. And I try moving it, and it does not move. So what I have to do is reach over, kill the machine, reset the card. Supposedly this will be in a low light level environment. Turn the switch back on. And then bang, bang. Okay, and here we go. And so, yeah, that's pretty much how it works in action. Now, there are a few drawbacks to this design due to my limited size. First of all, as you can see, I am sort of cheating by placing a part overhanging the side of the snap board. But I think that's okay. Because, well, the problem is, I it's physically impossible to do it any other way. So, I'm going to have to let that slide. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, there's a few problems I have. First of all, there's LEDs in the rover, so I guess you could use that as a weapon. But, that's sort of cheating. So I cannot do anything about the lights within the side of the rover. Second of all, the photo sensor is pointing straight up, opposed to pointing forwards or in all directions. Okay, 
So to all those who are planning on building an actual RC tank from scratch, this is a circuit you're probably going to want to build. Also, you want to hook up your variable or your photo sensors in series. You have multiple of them and photo sensors mounted on all sides of the tank and connect them up in series to the or if you want to get a little more realism, let's say a tank shoots you on your left side, make each track individually wired to an individual relay. That way if you get hit on the left side, your left track breaks. Or if you get hit on the right side, your right track breaks. So on and so forth. And you could probably use infrared light instead of white light. You could use white light, it would create a cool light show, but infrared is, well, invisible to human eyes, and so it doesn't really affect the game as much. Another thing I want to change about the snap circuit design, if I have more room, is there are a few things I want to add. First of all, a green indicator light to let me know the rover's on or off. Second of all, I would like to hook up a gun sound to when I launch the light. Okay, it'll go bang or bing bing bing. I probably could do the space war I see, even though it creates some funky space sounds. I think it'll do the job just nicely. And third and finally, I would like to prevent cheating by holding down the light while you drive the tank around. To do that, I'll hook up the light to a capacitor and in and when to a capacitor opposed to running straight off the batteries. Therefore, when you shoot it, it only has a limited time to shine and then it'll go dark. Then a uh, re then a timer will kick in, wait a while, then the light will come back on. So, yeah, those are a few plans for the future. I will be building a model of this in the future. So, till then, folks, till then, Hamster Boy on the Fajuf channel, signing off. And I hope I can upload these videos fast enough. RX1. I just love that name. See ya, folks.